Welcome in everyone. My name's Hazel the Joy, and today we're starting a brand new series playing all the mods 7 to the sky. This is a skyblock based mod pack full of questing and automation with the ultimate goal of mastering all of the mods and crafting the ATM star. I'm really excited to dive into this. There's over 200 mods in this pack, so there's a lot to learn, there's a lot to explore. And if you have any tips or tricks for me, make sure to leave them in the comment field down below. I can certainly use them. Let's get started. First things first, get this grass out of here. We'll just ultimine that away. Get all that stuff out of here and start chopping wood. If you want to use the ultimine yourself, there's a hotkey. The default is the tilde below your escape key. Just hold it down while you mine and you'll mine all of the similar blocks. Let's make some starter tools. So an ax. And a crook. Perfect. The crook allows you to get special drops from leaves. So if we use the crook here on these leaves, it also drops silkworms in addition to the normal loot. Silkworms are really good. We can use them to farm string. So we can infest the leaves here with the silkworms. And if we wait just a second, the tree will be all infested and we can harvest our string. Here we are. So if we take our crook again, and mine these leaves. Look at all that string. Beautiful. And with this, we can get started. I'm just going to go ahead and mine a bit more wood. And then we can get into using this string. I've just collected my second apple, which is lucky. So what we're going to do is make an apple sapling out of two apples and an oak sapling. And this is not only going to be our wood supply now, but a food supply. These leaves, you see the apples in there? We'll be getting lots and lots of apples from these trees now. And that'll serve as a constant food source for us. At this time, I've gathered a good amount of food and wood. So let's make some storage. This will hold all the extra seeds and whatnot that we have. Let's start gathering some cobblestone. So you just got to spam right click the ground with an empty right hand. And you get all kinds of little nuggets, mostly stone, but a few others. See, we get stone, andesite, blackstone, diorite, granite. You just take these little nuggets, you craft them two by two in your inventory, and voila! Stone, or diorite, or blackstone. Next up, we're going to make some sieves. Sieves are very powerful. They basically allow you to create items out of nothing. As you can see here, you take a material and a mesh. And with that, you can produce all kinds of materials. This here is the recipe that I'm most interested in. You combine gravel with a flint mesh and it allows you to start farming iron, tin, silver, gold, copper, all these precious metals that we're going to need and we're going to need them soon. As expected, to make the flint mesh, you need some flint, but you also need string mesh. So that's where the string comes in. To get gravel, we can use a special hammer that's part of this pack and hammer the cobblestone into gravel. So let's make the hammer, just like a so, wood and hammer. Now we can place this cobblestone down. And voila, gravel. We'll do the standard procedure. Just break a bunch of gravel. There we go. Six flint, just what the doctor ordered. So we can make the string mesh, then make the flint mesh. And we're ready to get started. We'll just need a bit more gravel to get going. By the way, you can also hammer compressed stone. It'll give you compressed gravel much faster and uses less durability. All right, that's better on the gravel. So we can just come here and just hold right click. It'll place the gravel and start sieving it. And we'll start getting lots of different materials. Now that we've gotten six flint, why don't we make a second sieve and start doing two at once? Placing them side by side. If you hold down, it'll do both of them simultaneously, doubling the efficiency. Why stop at two? Let's do three. In fact, you can go all the way up to five by five sieving, and now we're rolling in resources. At this point, we've generated lots and lots of resources. Most importantly, a lot of iron. You can take these little pieces and craft them into raw iron, which we should spell up immediately. We'll just craft up a smelter cook up this iron. Now that we have three iron ingots, we can do a very important upgrade. We'll take this water, 
and the free lava from this quest that only requires a clicking a check mark. And if we hammer a piece of gravel, turn it to sand, we can make glass, which will enable us to craft a cobblestone generator. Now, this thing is great. You put a chest over it, and it will automatically start producing cobblestone at a very quick rate. Now, we don't have to deal with those stupid pebbles anymore. I've let the cobblestone generator run for a little bit, and we've already gotten tons of cobblestone. It makes it really easy to get our compressed cobblestone real quick, so we can get our compressed gravel really quick. And now, we can just sieve our hearts out. Maybe we should expand our island. It's starting to feel a little cramped in here. To upgrade our island, I'm going to use the chipped mod. It has all kinds of variations on vanilla blocks, and I'm sure I could find something that looks really nice to decorate our island with. I think I'll make the carpenter's workbench so we can see variations on different wood types. And I want to make the mason's workbench, but that requires clay. So let's go quickly get some. You can make clay by combining dust and water in a wooden barrel. If we hammer gravel, we'll get sand. And if we hammer that sand, that will produce our dust for us. It seems to get water. All we have to do is put leaves in a wooden crucible. Don't mind me just shearing some leaves. Here's our crucible. Crucibles require heat. So let's use a campfire to power it. Now all we should have to do is place some leaves in and wait for it to do its magic. Hey, look, our water's ready. Oh, it's not a full bucket. Well, time to go wait again. One eternity later. Aha! We have water! I'm gonna go ahead and do this process one more time so that we can make an infinite water source and we never have to do this again. While wow, I was waiting, waiting it, appears it appears that, guests, that guests have arrived. Hey, look, free leather. And I unlocked this thing. Knowledge of death. What in the world? Increases the chances of finding special items. Okay, that sounds good. The water's ready now. So we can go ahead and make our infinite water source. I am glad to never go through that process again. Since we have water now, it's time to make that barrel. Plop it down here. So how does this work? Add dust? Okay, so you add water first, and then the dust? Did it already convert? Block clay. Okay, I did that wrong. Right click to pull it out. Aha! Success! So now we can make the mason's workbench. And now we can look at different options for stone types. So in the mason's workbench, I found this tiled cobblestone. And in this carpenter's workbench, I found stacked oak planks. I think they'd look nice next to each other. And I think I could build a decent island out of this. So I'm going to go place some blocks and see if our island can get a nice upgrade. While I was tearing up the island, I realized I can't just remove all of the grass because I might lose a precious resource. So I was looking through JEI and I found this grass seeds. It appears that you can sieve to get them. So I guess I'm going to try to do that and see how they work. Cool, I got some. Let's see how they work. Okay, so they just turn dirt into grass. So if I remove all the grass, that's not a big deal. I don't have silk touch yet. But I can still get it back if I have grass seeds or some kind of dirt generator. So I'll just go get some more seeds and then I'll feel free to tear out all the grass. Okay, back to building. And done. So I might have gotten carried away. I decided to go all out building myself a nice space where we can expand and have plenty of space for modded contraptions. I ended up going with a mix of tiled cobblestone and rounded cobblestone bricks as a uh, texture block. As the flooring, I think it's a nice combination. Went with the stripped oak log instead of those planks I was looking at. It's a lot cleaner. The planks were just too busy, I think. 
Went with this diamond oak planks as an accent. Stairs are made out of andesite. And the walls are made out of polished basalt. I think it's a nice combination. I think it works. I'm working with very limited materials here. So I think... I think it's pretty good for what I had available. And I'm quite pleased with it. It's huge. And I like how much space there is to expand. Over here, we have a little tree farming area. Over here, we have our sieve set up with enough space and walls that the items won't fly off the edge in any stretch of the imagination. And then over here, we have a little workshop area. We have our cobblestone generator, a bed, expanded storage. Obviously not perfect, but it'll do for now. It'll keep us going for a while. We've got our chipped workstations. We've got a stone cutter. we got our furnace array. A lot of this stuff's going to get upgraded. A lot of it's going to get changed. But for right now, I'm happy. And I think this is a great update. A great upgrade to the base. Uh, I'm not a fan of how flat a lot of these surfaces are. And how barren these areas are. But as we start filling it up with modded contraptions, surely it'll start to come to life. I just loaded up the world for the day. And... I got some weird messages in chat here. Uh, apparently I got an achievement for april fool's passing and then somehow i earned two levels about this knowledge of death thing if anybody knows what is going on with this knowledge of death thing please let me know in the comments i literally don't understand this uh but apparently we have two more levels to spend we've spent two out of three so i guess we'll just bump it i guess i can't oh what did i click on retain experience on death oh whoops um I guess we're using that. There's also these two rewards in my inventory. I'm not sure what these are, so I guess we'll find out. What's this? Soul receptacle. A soul is trapped in this magical container. The magic of this item prevents you from dying when in your inventory. I mean, that sounds good. What's up with this one? Merchant stone. These rare magic stones are... This is rare magic stones. Not to mis, misconstrue what's going on here. Allow to obtain better exchange with the merchant. Hold on. I got started with this sentence. This is rare magic stones. Allow to obtain better exchanges with a merchant. Me fail English? That's impossible. I think, I think if we use it on like a wandering trader, maybe it'll give us better trades. I don't really know. I don't really know what's going on with this. Um, but that works for me. Cool. Speaking of a wandering trader, one just arrived. So, let's see. Uh -huh. Glacial Iron Sword of the Duelist. Inflicts weakness. Okay, well, I'm not really fighting uh -huh. much. I still don't have emeralds, but we'll just see if it makes any of these trades better, I guess. This merchant already offers all his exchanges. I have no idea what this does. <laughs> hey, look, free leather. Now that our island's set up, I think that the next course of action should be to upgrade our meshes with some iron. Take six iron to upgrade one flint mesh into iron mesh. But if we do so, we can start getting diamonds and it increases our chances of getting iron and other materials and even get emeralds. I think it's really worth it. And it's worth grinding out a whole bunch of sieving just to start upgrading all of them to iron and maybe even diamond tier i'm not exactly sure what diamond tier gets except probably yeah it looks like more of the same yeah everything gets better with diamond tier so that might be worth though that might be a bit excessive probably at least try to get them up to iron tier will be good but other than that i'm not sure so i'm ready to just start grinding away and try to upgrade all of these to iron it's gonna take me a little bit but uh not like the present and probably all the resources will come in handy at some point so I don't mind just chilling here for a while collecting stuff. Oh, diamonds. Our first diamond. Now that's special. We are collecting so much flint. Please tell me there's like a flint block or something I can craft. Oh. I don't see one. Uh-oh. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to live with the chest of flint. Might have to set up a dedicated chest just for flint. I 
At this point, we found one diamond, two stacks of iron in a bit, and all of his flint. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to have to put the flint in its own container. And I can start upgrading even more of the meshes, so hopefully we can get some more diamonds. I just remember there's an item called the building wand or construction wand in this pack. And this should make it a lot easier to stack up our compressed cobblestone to get more gravel. So let's try this out. Just like so. Iron wand. And I believe whatever you hold in your offhand, it'll place. Yeah, see the highlighted region? Oh, yeah, that's way better. It's even auto-replacing my offhand. Oh, that's nice. Perfect. Oh, I forgot my hammer. Oh, definitely getting more diamonds. Look at that. I was coming to grab the meshes to upgrade the rest of them to iron, and this guy spawned. And he's selling this helmet. The Time Worn Visage. Uh huh. Uh, and it seems pretty good. Protection 5, Unbreaking 5. <laughs> All uh -huh. the works. But it does cost 45 emeralds, and you have to make a diamond helmet. I only have 12 emeralds, so I'm going to try to grind out the rest of the emeralds using this gravel before they despawn. So it seems with the iron mesh, we only have a 0.8% chance for getting emeralds every time. I'm struggling to get emeralds. But with the diamond mesh, we actually have triple the chance or so. So this might be a waste. But I think I'm going to start upgrading the meshes with diamonds and just see where it leads. We have 39. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, here we go. By the way, we have more than a double chest of flint now. And then we need to make that diamond helmet. On, we have diamonds somewhere, right? Yeah. Come on, don't deep spawn. Yes. Ha. Ha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Protection 5 diamond helmet. Oh, that should be good for a while. Oh, I feel so strong. Oh, that's amazing. After that mad dash for resources, this is what we've ended up with. Um, tons of niter, apatite, sulfur, cinnabar, aluminum, silver, all these metals. And diamonds even <laughs> for leftover emeralds. Uh, it seems like we really have a lot of everything. So we should be ready to start getting into some other like automation now. I am tired of making my own gravel and I am tired of sifting it by hand. We'll see how far this gets us. I think we're also going to have to grind out redstone, though. Because there's these items. The flux sieve, which is good. Um, just costs a lot of iron. And this will sieve for us automatically. And the flux hammer, a few diamonds, lots of iron. But they require RF. So they require basically electricity to power. And one of the easiest choices for power in this pack is the magmatic dynamo. Which uses lava. There's a... I think I have an idea for a lava farm. I was reading the book and it uses uh, iron and redstone and gold. So we have to grind out some redstone and it also uses invar, which we can make out of iron and nickel. We have both of these and we can even make them into dust using a hammer. So I think automation is upon us. We have all the resources we need except redstone. Redstone isn't that hard to get though. We just have to sieve dust. And we seem to get redstone. And even if we do it through the diamond mesh, we'll start getting fluix dust and certus quartz dust, which will get us set up to make a uh, apply energistic system. So we can go right into the digital storage, which will be powerful. Blaze powder can't be bad. And even the bone meal is pretty good. Wow, 20% chance for bone meal. We'll be rich in it. So I'll just go gather up some dust and then we'll be able to start gathering redstone and get into some automation. <laughs> Oops. This should be a decent amount of dust. After sieving all that dust, this is what we have. Plenty of redstone, good amount of bone meal for any farm we need, and a bit of Certus Quartz and Fluix to get us started making our seeds and crystals. This will be a great start for us for automation. I've got an ore hammer here. So we can break down our nickel. We can break down our iron. Very good. And then if we craft it up, we can get that invar dust. Very good. All I have to do now is smelt it up, and we're good to go. It says here that if we use this item called Fired Crucible, we can turn cobblestone into lava. And since we have infinite cobblestone, in theory, this should mean that we have infinite lava. Let's just go ahead and craft up the crucible. What's the recipe? 
Porcelain clay? Oh, we need bone meal. One second. Okay, got some bone meal here. Got our porcelain clay. There we go. Pop it in a uh, furnace. Ooh, look at all that ore. Look at all those beautiful ingots. Really should upgrade these furnaces soon, though. They are slow. All right, we got our fired crucible. So let's see if this works on this cobblestone generator. We'll just auto insert. Perfect. Though I think it needs a heat source. So I might have to do something tricky to get this to go into there. I'm wondering if this uh, crucible works with hoppers, vanilla hoppers. Oh, need a pickaxe. The hammer works as a pickaxe, by the way. So if I, let's see. Place you here, and then you like this. Does it fill it up? Strangely, no. What about from the top? Does that work with hoppers? Also, no. It seems to only want to fill from the bottom. Curious. So upon closer inspection, it seems that the vanilla hopper actually does work. It just fills it up like two stages, which is weird because it seems to fill up a, a lot more when it's directly on top of this for some reason. Um, but that should mean that this setup should work, actually, after all. So we're getting multiple, uh, multiple cobblestone in there. So now all we have to do is, is heat it up with like a campfire or something. I think campfire is really good. Um, let's see, where is this like a heat thing in here? Um, not that one. Yeah, crucible heat sources. So there's a bunch of different ones. We can use glowstone, torch. So torch is 1x, glowstone is 2x, magma blocks 2x, lava is 3x. But for some reason, campfire is 4x. Or even vanilla fire. I'm not sure if I have fire tick on. So I'll just use a campfire. Here we go. Campfire. So this should melt it up. Oh, it actually did fill up all the way. That's weird. Just took it a while. So now we need to figure out a way to actually drain the lava out. Now, we do have access to pipes mod in this. And the fluid pipe is perfect, and the wrench is very affordable. This looks expensive, but you can use sticks. So let's craft up a pipe wrench. And let's craft up some fluid pipes. Perfect. So now we can place it right on here, and we should be able to use this and like that. So now it'll extract lava from it to be inserted into whatever we want such as a magmatic dynamo so we can make an invar gear a redstone flux coil and i believe that's everything we need to craft this perfect and if we plop this down, it should connect. Perfect. It's full of lava. It's producing power. And it'll output it through this red side. So now we can connect it to automated machinery and start to make a proper contraption. Next up, I want to make this flux hammer and try to get it automating gravel for us. Make a diamond hammer. So make some panes. And then by our powers combined, let's see. Two blocks of iron. Hopper, and ta-da! Okay, now I have to see how this thing works. I don't know where its inputs and outputs are. So it is getting power when I place it there. The question is, what side does it input or output from? Does it input from the bottom? doesn't automatically seem to input from the bottom. Maybe if we put another cobblestone generator below it, it'll automatically insert into it. Here we are. So let's see. Okay, so that auto inputs. Where does the output go? There's no buffer inside here. Missing inventory on output side. It looks like the output tries to be this front side here. So let's try adding a container to it and see what happens. 
Well, I guess I need some power. Still out of energy, right. Okay, so... This is the right setup. It just needs to... have power as well. So I've decided to move this setup over next to the sieves. So we got our cobblestone generator producing lava. Puts the lava into the dynamo. Puts that power into here. Which automatically produces gravel. It is kind of slow, however... And there's an upgrade slot here. So I wonder if we can find something to put in there. Upgrade. Cryer's green dye. Looks like we need to do a little bit of Batania. We're going to want to make this stuff called floral fertilizer. It uses four of any dye and one bone meal. I'll make it out of blue dye since I have so much lapis. There we go. Now we just need a patch of dirt. So the floral fertilizer always produces four flowers of random color. It's not like vanilla bone meal where you have to have a certain size to be able to... to bone meal a certain AoE. It always makes four flowers. So you can just make... You can just spam it like this. I guess sometimes it makes three flowers, but also... They didn't seem to get a green flower, so we're going to have to... Well, we got blue and yellow, so we can make green that way. Just craft up the flowers and you get petals. Craft up the petals and you get dye. Forgot that yellow and blue doesn't actually make green in Minecraft. Um, I guess we'll just have to go get some more bone meal so we can make more flowers. Wow, vanilla composters are hungry. Hopefully we get the green flower with this one. Nope. Next attempt, hope for the best. Dang it! Surely this is the one. I meant this one. Okay, it better be this one. Okay, finally. Okay, I was about to I was about to rage. Okay, okay, okay. So we can take this, make green petal, make green dye, and now it requires specifically cyan terracotta. We do have cyan flower. Just need to cook up some clay now. Looks like we don't even have any clay, so I guess we're going to go make some. Huh. Oh, wow. This guy's back, and they have a Protection ah. 5 Unbreaking 5 chest plate this time. Well, guess I've taken a detour for that one. Oh, hey, look, 45. That's enough. I made the wrong diamond piece. Good thing I got lots of diamonds. Why did I think I needed to buy two helmets? Ah. Alright, here we go. Looking... Oh, get out of my way. Looking good! And, oh, I should probably clean all that up. Wow, can't even fit all the ores in one chest anymore. I am feeling pretty rich. Okay. Barrel time now. How did you do this again? What is it doing? Sea water? How do you even... Why? Oh, you used dust to make clay. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Dust. All right, there we go. And that makes clay. Okay, turn this into terracotta. Oh, hello, gold. Okay, let's see. Cyan terracotta. Check. The rest of the stuff. I need one more glass. Give me. 
Gold upgrade. Super cool. Let's see how much faster this thing is now. Still seems kind of slow, but it's better. Diamond upgrade takes three of those. Hmm. And you can have up to... Th oh, you can have up to three of them in there. Upgrade count up to three. Oh, so this doubles... Each one of these gold upgrades doubles how much gets processed. Interesting. And the diamond upgrade takes even less time. It does take more power, though. Probably going to have to upgrade this dynamo. Oh, you look how much power that takes. Yeah, we're going to have to upgrade the dynamo before we go further on this. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. We created a whole new island for ourselves, ground out lots of resources, got half of an amazing armor set, and achieved basic automation. All in the first episode. Next episode, we'll expand our automation and build a proper base for ourselves. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to support the series. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye for now.